eight hash browns. So, today's video, I wanted to check out whether weight in the car affects the 0 to 60 speed. So today we are in the standard range plus Tesla Model 3, which after testing has a 0 to 60, a fast, the fastest speed is a 4.9, and the slowest was getting out of it is 5.3. So anything over 5.3, 5.4, 5.5 is kind of definitive that the weight is affecting the 0 to 60 speed, the performance. So, at the moment, I'm just at the Perf supercharger, really cool supercharger, and I need to go collect the weight that we're going to add to the car. So, let's go get the weight that we're going to add to the car. First little weight we have is William, but I need more weight. 90. He's, he's not enough, he's 90 kilos. We've got a few heavy cameras in the car, but he is not enough. We need more weight. So let's go find us some more weight. So um, I've just arrived at my destination. I just wanted to say this. Uh, we've been um, followed around by this, which is a Bentley. I don't know which one it is. It's the fully specced, specced out Bentley Bentiga. Very, very nice car. Um, so we've been following this car. And then, the other car we was following is this uh, G-Wagon G63. Again, very, very nice car. The, the point I'm trying to make is that we, this was our little convoy and the cars were, you know, the, the Bentley and the G-Wagon were, were put, get, giving it some through the city, putting the foot down a little bit. And we had no problem keeping up. So this is the slowest Tesla. They currently do and we absolutely kept up with them now i'm not saying we was flying flying past them or anything i mean they probably if they re if we was really racing racing i think they would probably take it but for the slowest tesla you can keep up with a nice little uh, convoy like that which is kind of kind of crazy to say the slowest tesla is keeping up with a g63 and a bentley i think the bentley's actually faster uh, i'm not 100 percent sure the car the model 3 kept up and then also, one of our friends came and said, bloody hell, this is rapid. He, he was in the Bentley, he said, this car's rapid, meaning the Model 3. And I said, well, I don't think it's as fast as your guy. Uh, but they thought it was quick. So anyway, what's great is I'm here to collect my weight, my, uh, my weight for doing this 0 to 60 test. My weight comes in the form of two people who've already featured on this channel, the Stoltman brothers, the biggest brothers in the world, bigger than me and Will. How much do you weigh, Will? Uh, just under 90. 90 kilos. I'm about 100, what was it, 115 yesterday, yeah. something like that. I'm about 115 kilos. Yes, I've been eating too many pies. Tom is 175 kilos yeah. and Luke is 160, 165 kilos. So a ton of weight in the car. That is my weight, yes. Our friends, the Stoltman brothers, are the weight. And then we've got some cameras in the car. We've got a few big camera setups and a few gears. So we've probably got another 100 kilos in the car. So we're talking about... Over 500 kilos of, of weight in the car. And we're gonna test, see how fast it is, see if it's quick. Also, what's gonna be great is, Luke and Tom have just got out of a G63 and a, and a Bentley Bentiga, the fast one, I don't know what it is. And they're gonna get in this car and they'll be able to say whether this is slow or quick. Now we only have 113 miles of range, so we're not got 50% charge. So the performance might already be a little bit knocked, but I'm gonna get a full charge at some point on the way back and I will let you know the legit results. But to start off with, I'll probably just get their reaction of the of the acceleration, which I don't, I think with all that weight in it, I think it's gonna be slow. I can't imagine, that's adding like 25% weight to the car, maybe more, I don't know. That, it just, it's, gonna, it's gonna be slowed down, that's for sure. But there's only one way to find out and that is to get the boys in the car and go do some launches. Yes! Also, we get to see how big it is with four big people in the car, really big people. Aye, aye. I'm scared. In oh, these fancy cars. You can move the things down the side if you need to move it. You're massive, mate. When, when you're sitting there, that, that puts it into perspective. Aye, aye, aye. Have you got enough, enough room? Uh, Will's going to sit down me if you want. Oh, oh actually. Uh, <laughs> which one's got more room, Will? So we're doing a video called Does Weight Affect the 0-60? Aye, because Luke said you it goes pretty rapid in 0-60. It's, it's quick, but I think with the weight in it, it's going to... 
slow it down. Right, so we're gonna do, I, I've got the weight in the car now. Uh, I, I said you was 175, is that yeah, right? That's right, And then what are you, Luke? Uh, 165. 165. I'm about 115, and then Will's, what are you, Will? 200. Yeah. Yeah, Will's 200. So we're, we're at over 500 kilos, so that should affect the 0 to 60, but let's go test it out. Oh. So first time in a in a car, Tom, in, in a Tesla. Oh, no, you've been in a Tesla before, haven't you? Uh, is that in the same one as this, Model 3? Yeah, your one. It was just in your one. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay, what do you think of it? Yes, this is comfy. I mean, I'm a big boy. My head's not touching the roof. <laughs> Decent uh, leg space and it's comfy, it's decent comfy. Good uh, arm space as well. Yeah, well, between me and you. Yeah, yeah, so it's good, you know, we're both tall and it's. I like it, man. I like it. Yeah, Lou, what do you think? Yeah, it's decent. Um, I haven't been in the back of a car in a while, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for you too. No, man, it's cool. I mean, considering I've got one of the biggest men in the world in front of me, <laughs> my knees, you know, it's, I think I've got more room than I do in a plane, so that's why I kind of compare things. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this, man, it's nice. It's not bad. What do you think to the interior? It's like, some people think it's it's basic, but do you think it's uh, it's all right being that, that kind of stripped back? I think, yeah, I mean, you've got the the center piece, you know, with the, the kind of display iPad thing there, you know, that's pretty cool. You, know, you can even see the cars in that when you're driving yeah, past. Yeah, so it scans the road and... Jeez, this is... Yeah. That's pretty this epic, is like that. future, am I? Into the future, it's just so quiet as well. Yeah, that's that's weird. Yeah, I think when you get on the motorway, you get that tire roar. But, uh, yeah. okay. So, you've just come out of a Bentley, uh, what was it? 4x4 ben Bentley, um, the Bentiga, is it? Bentiga, yeah, ben Bentley Bentiga, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that was that was nice, you know, that's kind of all quilted leather, and like obviously, Bentley's quite a luxurious car, um, really nice car. I mean, would I pay? 200 grand for one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I would like to part with that much money. So it will be interesting after literally just stepping out of them to sort of see what you guys think. Um, we're at, we're less than 50% battery, so it does, it starts uh, to reduce the performance. Right, right. So once, if you've got 100%, it's a, it's a bit quicker. Oh, I mean, I, it's definitely slow with, with everyone in it. It's not got a, still, we, I still we've got a good pull with it. Yeah. I like that. I love this. Cool, this thing here. Yeah, so this is one. for the full self-driving. Yeah, so uh, like it, if we had full self-driving and was in the states, it would it would have stopped at the light. Jeez. It's picking up a gr that green light over there, so I don't know if that'd mess it up. And the cones and little bits like that. Oh, it's quick. That'd be that. It's, light. it's quick. Yeah. Sometimes it's quick off the light. That's yeah, so weird. Not seeing the the engine. You know, that's it. The Turks. How's it for handling and stuff? Is it great? Really? Yeah, this one's the best one. Is it? Um, She's, she can still go the boys. <laughs> it's not that bad with, with you guys in the car. It, it, it is quicker, for sure, without, without the weight in the car. Yeah. But um, I'll do a timed launch in a sec if, we get a, if I get a straight. All right, cool. We're finished charging up. I've got um, I've got about 60%. So we're testing the 0 to 60 with around 60%. So let's, uh, let's go do this. So I've just stopped at another supercharger just to get a bit more juice on the car. So we've got 164 miles left. So I'll probably go up to 180. Um, so another like two minutes of charging. Just to see if we can get a bit more juice in it because I think that's probably what was affecting not to 60 most. Although Tom Tom fills this chair up quite well. So I think that's might, Tom might be one of the biggest reasons we're slowing down to be honest. Right guys, we've got 177 miles. So I've got decent about 70% range now so I think that's a fair enough test I don't know if it feels much faster to be honest I think so I think I don't I think this weight could be having an effect on the 0 to 60 and performance is a little strange here yeah. Alright, three, two, one. Oh yeah, it's definitely slower off the line. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to stop it. <laughs> not to 50 or whatever. Yeah, not to 50, yeah. It's left a bit, it's lost a bit of poke off the line. So when it, when a G-Wagon's off the line, what does it feel like? Fast. Faster than that? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the G, it's a G63, so a G63 is probably like not to 60 in like four seconds flat, so yeah, yeah, it's a lot faster than this, I think. 
What do you think to the silence of um, like of it? Do you think it makes it? Do you think it makes it worse? Like seem quite like seem slower? Or? Yeah, maybe. I think when you see, hear a loud cry, you automatically think yeah. fast, don't you? So. quick you know yeah, so it, didn't, it, it, didn't, it didn't feel uh, it felt like it got off the line I think it, it does affect it a little bit it didn't, it didn't feel slow I'm good behind us right okay you ready three two one oh I sloughed the line mm. 30 40 50 60 yeah right well there you go guys does does weight in the car affect your 0 to 6. I think it does a little bit. If I'm, if I'm being honest, I think the weight is affecting it. So, if you want good 0 to 60 times, you need to lose some weight. Um, don't don't carry these guys around with you. <laughs> don't go collect two world's strongest men and, and one 200 kilo William. I know it's William, Jesus. It's all William in the back. It's all the food he ate last night, <laughs> isn't it? So there you go, uh, does it affect it? I think it does, the, you, you guys know the numbers, did it affect it? Still felt quick, felt quick enough, probably about, I would say, 5.4, 5.5 seconds, which is still a quick car, so um, if you are a big person, you're thinking about buying one, have a look in the description, there's a link below, it'll get you a thousand free supercharging miles, it gets me a thousand free supercharging miles, and it helps support the channel, salute to you guys. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, peace.